Hello guys. Yet again, this is Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studios. In today's lesson, we shall be learning how to use the void extrusion. Void extrusion. Someone may be asking what is void extrusion. Void extrusion is one of the tools used in massing. Just the way you use extrusion and sweep for your window hood and um, your concrete fascias. You also use void extrusion to cut off some portion of the masked object that you don't want to be seen. You use void extrusion to cut off a particular portion of a masked object. Now let me show you something. If you go to this image, mind you this is the work we are doing, this is the project we are doing. I want to actually establish something. In real life situation, when two colors are applied on, a, on the surface of a wall, the two colors are being demarcated with POP, the plaster of Paris. Like it's, you can see it here now. We have this color and we have this color and it's being demarcated by this POP, this plaster of Paris, as a belt around the building. So how do you achieve this without letting the plaster of Paris to cross through your doors and your windows? You can see that you go to this door, there was nothing like that. And you go to this window, there was nothing like that. But after that, here you see it. On this door, you can't see it. But here you can see it. On this uh, cutting wall, you can't also see it. Okay? It was achieved by the help of void extrusion. I used the sweep tool or icon to mass this building around, including all the doors and all the windows. But I later came back to use void extrusion to cut off all the positions where there are doors and windows. And that is what we shall be learning today. So let's go back to our projects. So I want to introduce, introduce it here. But before I do that, if you look at that image I showed you, on this particular place, on the south elevation, it is actually covered by the stone tiles. But in our project, there is nothing like that. So let's go back and effect that. Okay? So we'll go back. I go to paint. First, I go to modify. I go to paint. Then I click on stone tiles. Then I begin to paint all this place. I begin to apply it. So you can give me exactly what I want or exactly what is in that our specimen object. Okay. This is how it goes. So having done this, the next thing we are going to do is to belt this building around. Apply the plaster of Paris around this building at exactly the place where the walls are demarcated. How do you achieve this? We are going to go to ground floor level because this particular point is at the ground floor level. So go to your project browser under floor plans, double click on 02 ground floor level. Go to architecture, click on the arrow beneath components, select model in place, click OK. Okay, again, go to sweep now, click on sweep, go to sketch parts, click on sketch parts, then begin to sketch. I start from here, I click. I have a door here, I should have jumped it, but no need of jumping it. Just go around everything. You are going to come back and use void extrusion. No, this should not even go through here go we don't have it here so I delete this I 
the link that and get this to this point and click online and join this to join it and make sure that everything is closed up join it properly okay after doing this i click finish edit mode after that i go to edit profile it will bring me east and west i can take any one of them so let me go by east so this is my east elevation now so i can stand on my east elevation to edit so i click here i can decide to go up or come down so where do i go now let me go up so i go upwards and type 150 and i go like this 45 you must not follow my pattern, my shape, sorry. You can follow my pattern, but don't follow my shape. You can create any shape you want, be it complex or simple. Then, 35. What I'm doing now is just a guide for you. Then I come down here. I go like this, 45. 45. Enter. Go up. 35. Enter. Then now, I want to create a curve here. I go to this arc here. You can see it start and reduce i click on it then i take the cursor to the other end which is here i click on it then i move it out until it gives me 40 degrees in radius i click so this is the shape that i'm going to have around my building i now go to finish edit mode and click i go to finish edit mode again and click if you ask me the material I want to apply on it, I go under my properties. You will see material here. Click on that by category. A box will come out with three dots. That is called the ellipsis. I click on the ellipsis. I now select gypsum wallboard. I can type it in the box, search box. G Y P. I might not type it fully. The name will just come out. Gypsum wallboard. I select. I click OK. And I click finish model you can see it has been created but it is crossing on our windows and our doors if you look at it this way you can see it is crossing everywhere so we're going to use void extrusion to trim it off or to cut it off let me go to south elevation first south elevation i double click on it so i come here now just listen very properly because this is tricky and dicey. First and foremost, click on the, the plaster of Paris that you used to demarcate the two paints. I click on it. Go to edit in place on top here. Click on it. Come back again. No, sorry. This time around. After clicking on it and clicking on the edit um, in place, go to create. Click on create. I click on create. You will see void forms. Before now, you used to click extrusion or sweep. But this time around, you are going to click void form. Click on void form. You will see void extrusion, void blend, void resolve, and so on and so forth. Select void extrusion. After that, it's going to bring out this dialog box asking you to select or pick a plane. I told you before in some of my, in some of my previous. Uh, videos that pick a plane simply means sentence pick a surface the plane means surface of a wall that you want to start from so I, I select pick a plane I click OK now this is the surface I want this is the surface I want to work on so I try to highlight it okay you can see it now when I was here I did not see it highlighted then I moved down close to the tip of the edge now the blue lines have come out to surround the windows and the doors like i told you in my previous lessons too that when you see the blue lines surrounding the walls not, sorry not the wall the windows and the doors that are locating on the wall you want just know that you have selected the right surface or the right plane if not my dear you are on another plane so i click 
when I have clicked on this, I go to rectangle, click on this rectangle, I come here. I want the cutting to begin from here and end here. I click at this point, you will see the X, click on it and drag and get to this point. Another S appears, intersection, I click. I do the same thing for my door. I click here and drag it to this point. I do the same thing for this other door. I click here, I drag to this point. I do the same thing for my cutting wall. Let me start from here. You can see I extended, I would have left it here. If I left it here, the curved part of it will not be trimmed. So I take it a little bit further. Even if it goes beyond, no wahala. I click on this. So, this is not where it ends. I have to also instruct Revit the thickness or the depth to which this trimming should go. You know, I'm starting from this wall and the plaster of Paris is behind the wall, is towards me. The wall is in front. The wall is in front and the plaster of Paris is back towards me towards the screen or towards you as you're looking at your screen what this means is that when you want to select the thickness is going to cut it's going to be a minus form minus sign what i mean is this okay look at extrusion end simply means the thickness you are going to extrude or cut off i want it because the thickness of the plaster of paris here is i think about 75 millimeters 75 millimeters you are advised to cut beyond the normal size of the object so if the thickness of this plaster of paris is 75 i'm going to trim off 100 millimeters but that 100 millimeters is going to be a minus sign because it is coming out it is coming backwards towards me but assuming the plaster of paris is on the other side of the of this wall you would have left it at a positive sign so in this 250 now i'm going to change it to minus 100 minus 100 if you put just 100 you cannot trim it that is just a simple truth just like in your graph those of us who can remember graph in school in those days you have the x axis and the uh, y axis the y axis has the positive uh, as this and the negative the same thing with the just the x the x and the y they have both positive and negative and they have their origin at zero okay from zero upwards is in positive from zero downwards is in the negative the same way from zero towards your left is negative from zero down your right is positive that is how this thing works okay so the zero now is on the surface of this wall going forward or going towards going outwards you are going towards the positive side coming towards yourself as you are now looking at the screen if you are coming towards yourself it is negative but if you are going out going into the screen it is the positive i don't know if i'm able to explain it because it's somehow um cracky so but with time you get to understand it so this is minus 100 okay then you now go here and click finish edit mode and click finish model just like magic everything is off everything is off and this is how to do void extrusion i may not be able to do it right round because of time you can do the remaining ones by yourself or on your own but after now I'm going to complete it at my own end here so I urge you also to complete your own from that side but if you run into any problem do not hesitate to call me 
not to call me sorry do not hesitate to make comments if you're on the on, on our youtube channel comment on our youtube ch channel but if you're on my whatsapp group you can just hit me back on the whatsapp group and tell me what the problem is and in a jiffy i'll be there to rescue someone thank you once again for watching this see you in the next